Welcome back, everyone, to another edition of Rudy's Rants from Come On Now, the podcast. I'm your host, Rudy Rodriguez, show my holy cannoli. Can't start off with a cuss word because it could cause me to be demonetized. So, holy cannoli, Team USA escapes Serbia, 95-91, down 16 in the end of the third quarter. 17, I think. 17. 16 or 17. End of the third quarter, makes a big comeback in the fourth, largely because Serbia, who was hitting threes the entire game, went completely ice cold, 0 for 9 in the fourth quarter from three. The U.S. got a weird call in the fourth where Nikola Joker shoves Anthony Davis, who falls into Kevin Durant. The foul is clearly before the shot took place. And he hits the three. And apparently in FIBA ball, that three counts. And then Team USA got the ball again and then hit another three to, to make it a six-point possession. I didn't even know the I don't even know the rules on that one because that, that was weird. But this is what happened. They come back, they win 95-91. Jason Tatum is a DNP coach's decision again, along with Tyrese Halliburton. If I'm the 11th and 12th guy on this team, I might as well just go home because Steve Kerr has shown a complete inability to know how to use this team. I watched this game today. It was embarrassing what happened. And if they take pride in that victory, they should be ashamed of themselves. They were getting their asses kicked for three quarters by a team they had beaten by 30 twice in the last month. A team that features Nikola Jokic, Bogan Bogdanovich, and a bunch of guys you've never freaking heard of. I know Nikola Jovic, who plays for the Heat, but he barely played. But the rest of them, you've never freaking heard of them, okay? And they were knocking down threes. They were kicking the U.S.'s ass. And if it wasn't for Steph Curry, who went crazy today with 36, the U.S. loses. All that said... If Serbia hits two threes in the fourth quarter, they were knocking down five a quarter, they win that game. Let me tell you something, men. Jason Tatum is benched, coach's decision, and his mama ain't having it. His mama ain't having that shit. I wish that she would just not speak because what she's doing is not going to help her son. But she's a mom, and he's still a young guy who's 25, 26, clearly a massive mama's boy. We know this because she actually manages his money because it's been announced, you know, he's been told that he, you know, his mom controls all his finances. So he's a 26 year old man who has his mom, that mom, mama controlling his finances and all that stuff. But you can't talk about this, Mama Tatum. What's wrong with you? Or your last name is Cole, I, Brandy Cole. So she responds to a post by, of all people, Dick Vital on Twitter. Someone please let me know, is Jason Tatum injured as he hasn't received the playing time you would expect an NBA, all-NBA player to get? Forget all-NBA player. He's a three straight year first team all-NBA. Three straight years. And he's been coach's decision benched twice in six games, both of them versus Serbia. What, can Jason Tatum not play versus Serbia? For some reason, bro, his mother responds, no, he not. But if you find out what's going on, please let me know. Unacceptable and makes no sense. Capital letters, no sense. Then she knows what's going on. She has talked to her son. He has told her what's going on and she ain't having it. Then she also reposted a post that took a shot directly at Steve Kerr saying he should not be the coach of Team USA in 2028. I completely agree with that, by the way. I don't think Steve Kerr should be the coach of this team. He, I have never been a fan of Steve Kerr as a coach. I think he's highly overrated. I think he was blessed with incredible talent because when his talent was hurt, he could not win a freaking game. The year that Steph Curry and Klay Thompson were injured and did not play, they won like 15 games. 
I'm not sure the exact number. I'm going to check it real fast because that's what I do. But, and people will tell me, you know, Steve Kerr is a great coach. Ah, I don't think he's a great coach. I think he's a decent coach. I think he's a good coach. A great coach? A great coach would know how to figure out how to play 12 All-Stars. Like, oh, I'm sorry. He's playing one who's not an All-Star, but two of them are sitting on the bench who are All-Stars. One is a first-team All-NBA player. Another led the league in assists this past year in Tyrese Halliburton and is a legitimate point guard. So the year that Steph and Clay were out, they were 15-50. and 50. Couldn't win when his players were out. But his assistant coach, Eric Spolster, on this same coaching staff, won 41 games with his best player being Dion Waiters and Goran Dragic. And they were 11-30 and 30 at the midway point and finished 30 and 11 in the second half. They go 41 and 41 and missed the playoffs by a game. This man is not playing Jason Tatum at all. It's insulting and it's embarrassing. Is he going to play him now in the gold medal game versus France in a couple of days? My guess is probably not. Why would he all of a sudden be good enough to play France when he's not good enough to play Serbia? And don't tell me matchups. This guy is an all NBA player. However, Mama Tatum. In this post that she reposted, said it says, if Kerr is watching this and willingly decided, yeah, Jason Tatum couldn't help here, then he legitimately cannot coach in 2028. His mother reposted that. We all know the deal. She's posting what he's telling her. And if he's not telling her this, then she's way out of pocket. Because what she's doing is absolutely fucking embarrassing for her son. It's not a good look. It's not a good look. Now, do I disagree with her? No, I I completely agree with her. I think what Steve Kerr has done with Jason Tatum is embarrassing. I think I think it's shown something that I'll give you an example. Today's game versus Serbia. There, they had cut the lead to six in the about two minutes to go in the third quarter. He pulls out LeBron. He pulls out Steph Curry, and the game is up to sixteen like that. Two three minutes up to sixteen. Steph should never have left the floor in that game. They're not even running plays for Steph in the fourth quarter. LeBron is toting the ball because LeBron has to have the ball at all times. LeBron is running the point even though he's not really a point guard. He is, but he's 6'8", 6'9". But LeBron has to be the fucking hero. Even on the broadcast. Steph's got 36, and these guys are blowing LeBron's fucking nuts. Dwayne Wade is, of course. Noah, whoever, I think, whoever, Noah Engel, I don't know what his name is. He's LeBron's leadership. Man, fuck you with the leadership. Steph Curry had 36 after being awful for five games because he's basically been standing in the corner, not getting, not getting in a groove because he's used to having the ball. Look, it's tough for guys who always have the ball to not have the ball as much. But the thing that these guys have done to basically defer to LeBron throughout the entirety of this tournament, it's a joke. Nick argues with me, says LeBron is still the best player in in the United States. I don't agree with that at all. At all. I think he's 15 to 20. Because I, because basketball, you play defense and he plays none. And his offensive skills yeah, he shot a good – he's averaging 24, 25 last year, and he shot 50-plus percent, and his three-point shooting has gone up. But that's not the game that man plays. That man doesn't have the same levels of explosiveness that he used to have. It's clear as day. He's bully-balling people. He, he, he runs people over, gets away with it, flops on every damn thing that there is. I think that Anthony Edwards is a better player. I think Kevin Durant's a better player. I think Steph Curry's a better player. But they're all deferring because it's LeBron. And that's fine. But you can hand the ball to Steph. LeBron cannot function on the wing. We've known this. This is historic. We've known that LeBron is non-functional off the ball, which is why he always has the ball. Kevin Durant does not need the ball to function. Because Kevin Durant can plug and play into literally everyone's team. But LeBron can't. LeBron does not function well when he has a big guy down low. 
which is part of the problem with Joel Embiid because Joel Embiid, Joel Embiid played great today, by the way. He played great. He was exactly what the U.S. needed versus um, versus Jokic. He had 19. He had some. He had seven straight points in the fourth quarter that made it that that pretty much tied the game. I, I mean, no, nah, he was in, he was outstanding. But LeBron doesn't function that well with those types of guys because they clog the lane. Because all LeBron's ever done is bully his way to the rim. Look, LeBron's one of the greatest players of all time, but he's not the best player in his country. And they've handed the ball to him because of who he is. While a guy like Jason Tatum is sitting on the bench, sucking his thumb, embarrassed, made to look like a fool, despite the fact that three straight years he's first team All-NBA and LeBron James is not. If people thought LeBron James was a top, was the number one U.S. player in the world, U.S. player that there was, he would be making first team All-NBA. But he's not. Because he's not played that way in the NBA. It's really, it's not that hard to look like a star among stars when you're handed the ball. But when you're not handed the ball, you look like Steph Curry did for a few games, standing on the wing, standing on the corner, waiting for the ball. You look like Tatum, who looks like, really, he didn't look good because he's, like, they don't have, Steve Kerr hasn't given these guys a role. I think Steve Kerr has failed miserably. In this, in this job. Failed. They win the gold. Who cares? He's failed. This game today, 95-91 against Serbia, who you beat by 30 twice this month, including in the in, in, in the in the in the pool play. Bro, man. I, I tell you what, I don't I, I don't disagree with Jason Tatum's mother, but she needs to not talk because she is not helping her son at all. He's gonna get clowned more than he's already been. Is but but I had to jump on here. I want to know what your thoughts are. What do you think of Jason Tatum's mother chiming in on Jason Tatum not playing in in the Olympics? I mean, this is this is I mean, this is a grown man. Shut the fuck up. But what are your thoughts? Leave a comment. I'd love to hear what you got to say. Be sure to like, subscribe, hit that bell, and share this video. Be sure to follow us on uh, TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook. At Come on now podcast and uh, X at Come on now pod. Thank you so much for joining me. Come on now.